Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Sagittarius. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Sagittarius, let's get right into your reading. We're going to get right into your reading. This is your midweek reading. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Sagittarius as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Sagittarius, who are God in human form, gods in human form, every area of their lives. Let's go. This is a general reading. So please take what resonates with you, Sagittarius. And please don't forget to comment below. A lot of people send me text messages. Comment below because I'm telling you there are people all over the world who want to know what the video is about and how it's affected you. So don't forget to comment. Don't forget to comment below. Yes. All right. So let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here, Sagittarius. We have a lot of things going on. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody is really nervous about the next chapter of their lives. Okay, need I remind you, Sagittarius, that you all are very smart. You all are very caring. You all are deep thinkers. And so this deep thinking part, you don't have to be nervous. Like you really don't have to be nervous moving into this next chapter. You all are very honest sign. You love to have fun. You all are generous. You are idealist. You all have great senses of humor. You all are the I see sign, right? So that's where I need you all to see it in the spirit realm. Here we have the five of pentacles. Somebody was emotionally wounded when it came to money. Now, remember I said, I think in the last video, I said, Sagittarius, don't go out here and spend all of this money buying gifts for people during the holidays when they may need something else. They may just need a kind word from you. And so some of you all may have gone broke in the past, just get over giving and not even just money, but just over giving your time and your attention to things that really just took you away from creating the life that you deserve. So you're not going to be sitting in front of this vault for too much longer. I'm looking at somebody get looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. I see somebody walking away from people who have burned them in the past. And I'm talking about these people could be family members, friends, people that you have very deep deep emotions, like deep as the ocean. You had that level, that depth of emotion for them. And it could have been in an intimate relationship. Intimacy does not equate to sexual, but it could have been in an intimate relationship. So Venus being retrograde right now is great for you all to really slow down and really think about those people who may have burned you in the relationship where really you came out like gold, you came out refined, you came out enlightened, right? This fire actually was served to enlighten you. So I don't want you to sit down in this space right here, forgetting that you have the key to your own happiness, right? We all have the four of pentacles. I see a lot of you all traveling. Again, this speaks to your money, but because you all have been, because some of your experiences in the past Imagine um, Sagittarius, you loving people so deep. They could be family members. They could be friends. They could be ex-romantic interest. You loving them so deep and it affected your money so deep. It would make a person fearful, but it's false evidence that appears real, right? Some of y'all are really dealing with some serious traumas. Some of y'all have been afraid to go after the careers that you were very passionate about because people around you didn't support you and they... I mean, just all kinds of stuff was going on. But I see a lot of you all getting near a body of water, taking the spiritual bath, spiritual showers, and just really reconnecting with falling back in love with you and things that you're passionate about. Remember, Venus is the planet of love, whether it's agape love, erotic love, beautiful, I mean, beauty. Some of you all are starting to look in the mirror and really just see how beautiful you really, really are. It's also the planet of money, your values, your sentiments, how you create what you're attracted to, romance, your sexual desires, cooperation, relationships, what you enjoy. And I see a lot of you all reconnecting back to music and reconnecting with art, like maybe dancing around the house, you know, and just really feeling, I think after coming out of this, this right here, the depth of emotions that some of you all had for certain people and just kind of walking into your own, stepping into your own light and feeling for some of you all, it could feel like you you feel lonely, but I'm telling you, you put on one of your favorite songs and you dance around the house. You just forget all about it. Even if it's for a short period of time, you just forget all about it. Or you take a nice spiritual bath or a spiritual shower. You wash all of that fear down the drain. This is fear. This is doubt that, hey, I'm moving forward. And I'm going to tell you something. The holidays can tempt people to go out and spend a lot of unnecessary money just trying to fill that empty space or that void. Don't do it. Don't do it. If anything, 
you know, it costs you nothing to put on your favorite song and dance around the house, you know, ex except, you know, your light bill or, you know, running bath water or whatever, your water bill. And that's not really that expensive. But again, you know, do some things for you, because like I said, a lot of money is coming your way. And instead of you just over giving your time and your energy, and in some cases, a lot of money to people who will end up burning you anyway, then focus on you, focus on you. Remember, Venus retrograde is really about self-care and balance, balancing out your own life. See, more money is coming out the cards. I'm seeing financial independence for you all. I'm seeing internal peace and happiness. I'm seeing you all balance out your daily affairs when it comes to money. So some of you all not only have, you know, working for somebody else, but some of you all have that entrepreneurial spirit. So you've been thinking about starting a business. You're very hardworking people anyway. You really love to have fun. This is what you want to reconnect with, right? Reconnect with that part of yourselves. And I'm seeing financial independence for you, right? This number nine is letting me know that there's a transformation happening within you. That old person who used to be afraid and fearful and, and doubtful and, you know, feeling like, man, I made so many mistakes. No, it wasn't mistakes. Those were lessons you had to learn on this journey. So you all had the planet of expansion. Jupiter is the planet of expansion. So look, look at this right here. This is a person, see this owl right here represents your wisdom and knowledge. This is a person who is have clarity of thought. Somebody who has said, you know what? I've learned lessons in the past. I have my sword in hand. I'm severing conversations with, I'm severing certain, com severing ties with certain conversations that is just taking me away from coming up with new and creative ideas for me to create the life that I want. Because remember, this to be behind this vault is not just about money. It's about creating the life that you want, the happiness, the peace, the joy, the you know, you know, like I said, you all love exploring. So I do see a lot of you all traveling and you're not waiting for 2022 to start traveling. Some of y'all are making plans today. Some of somebody may have just gotten back from a vacation and haven't even unpacked the bags. They still sit, <laughs> still sitting at the front door. But anyway, I'm seeing you all have a lot of clarity of thought here, which is great. I love this for you, Sagittarius. And I'm seeing, you know, a lot of you all had to be um, bitten by snakes. I mean, painful snake bites that didn't kill you, but they woke you up because you all are mutable signs. And a lot of you all have tried to adapt to situations like water, but not anymore. So now this is a, this is a new, I can see why somebody would, you know, really feel like their fear is real and to start really doubting. That's why I want you to be gentle with yourself, Sagittarius, and say, Hey, this is a new chapter for me. You know what? I, I, I have Jupiter as my ruling planet. It's the planet of expansion. The, the planet of fortune, or some people call it good luck. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to really step out on faith. I'm going to get rid of this fear and I'm going to step out on faith. Yeah. So the snakes may have come in the form of people, but they've also come in a, a form of things and places as well that may have triggered painful emotions for you. And so this is where you're going to really, really tap into your faith and focus on your inner peace and happiness. Be real harmonious with yourselves, right? So if you happen to be in a, um, happy, healthy, whole relationship with someone else. Um, I see that getting better, but if it's not happy, whole and harmonious, I, and, and you could have been bitten by, uh, some, uh, you know, a person who, um, you felt like you had a future with that was just that person, that energy was sent to you to snap you out of that, you know, trying to adapt to certain situations. And so some of you all may have been in relationship with the person you felt like was the devil incarnate, but guess what? No, they're no longer in your life. And if they are in your life, you have your fire sign. You can take that fire and you can fire them. You can get them out of your life for good, right? Yes. Chanting, right? Chanting, create a nice, healthy chant. The number eight is the number of money exchange, right? I'm telling you, you all are on the cusp of so much money coming into your lives and money is not a primary goal for everybody, but it's what you can do with that energy, what you can do with that resource. You really can create opportunities for other people. You can, um, you can really help to change people's lives. You can really help change people's lives. So I see you all balancing out your energies and that's what I have for you. So thank you for joining me on today. This is your midweek video. I'll see you again on Sunday. All right. Happy holidays to each and every one of you all. Um, I hope that you make today special. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Bye.